Alrighty, what's up people of the world? It's me again, Alex Wimmer, aka AP3 Jumped, and today I am reviewing not a Loud House episode, but rather a Loud House graphic novel. Now, I actually are already, I actually already reviewed the first two collectively in in my uh, 400th video as part of the multi milestone marathon, but today. <clears throat> Well, so so today I'm actually going to review "Live Life Loud," the the third graphic novel in the series. Now, there's actually two there's there's two more coming out later this year, but I'll talk about that later on. Well, I don't really review these sort these types of things, so let's get on with it, shall we? Now, this this graphic novel. It introduces um, <clears throat> a couple of uh, new concepts, like it stars both the Loud family and the Casa Gran and the Casa Grandes. I almost butchered that pronunciation, <laughs> but um, so yeah, we get to see a, a, a lot more stories with, with these characters. There, there's 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 several in this, and for the little introduction bios that they have for all the characters in the front. Not, they, not only do they have uh, the Loud family, but they also have uh, <clears throat> Clyde's family. All of all of the ca members of the Casa Grande family, and and even all of the pets from all their respective families, and we even get get a little bio on fan, the fan favorite character Sam Sharp. So yeah, she has a last name, and uh, we see her one of her first um, major roles, and, and uh, her first speaking role in this graphic novel. Actually, it's called uh, Sam's Pick. And I gotta say, it's it was a hell of a treat to finally to see her have a starring role. Uh, we have no idea who she's going to be voiced by in the actual show yet, but seeing her in, in this in this comic was um, and and the comic that she's actually the story that she's featured in is definitely a heck of a treat. And, and those two things are actually what make this graphic novel the best one yet. Because it stars a whole wide wide array of characters. Now, some characters only get all are only featured in one story, but st but still, you get to see absolutely everybody re represented uh, the, the, in in this particular graphic novel. Um, now, some of my favorites in here, along with uh, Sam's pick, are I. Definitely the ones featured in the Casa Grandes. Um, goth perks that got that got referenced in one of the most recent episodes, actually. That um, fandom pains because the, the, it's funny that episode came out immediately after this 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 graphic novel came out. And uh, Baby Brothers, another great one. Um, uh, just a phase. That one's pretty hilarious. Um, you know, my or my property. That art style. Um, let's see, Jared Morgan is the artist for that episode, so, so that, so that, so that one had, the color, the color choices in that one are a little, are different, are different than usual, which is interesting, and like I've said before, in a certain light of artists who work on these comics, draw them authentically to how they are in the show, and sometimes they're drawn in kind of off-model, and and the characters look a little bit strange, to be honest, but... Now, one thing that is definitely <clears throat> worth worth mentioning is the fact that the very first comic for the... The very first comic ever made for the series, the ABCs of Getting the Last Slice, is actually featured in this graphic novel, which is, which is, actually, is actually a hell of a treat, pun intended. So, yeah, that... That it, that is awesome to see that I finally have that. It's awesome that I finally have that comic in my hands, and I have a I have where is it? I I also have this within my possession. I have this freaking image, and I have these images within my possession now. So that's that's another automatic win. <laughs> So yeah, I'm trying to think of just any other things worth mentioning. Uh, um, it's 
I feel like there's there were some Carlos and Frida Puga Casagrande, for some reason they're not featured in the but in the in this book at all. They don't they don't there there aren't any stories that have them in them. <laughs> I I don't understand that. I've I guess I guess they couldn't squeeze them into this for some reason because they have literally every other character. But for some reason these two right here they're not featured. They don't have any stories. They're not featured in any stories in here, which is really odd. But I will say this: this graphic novel is one of the first sources that you can actually is actually one of the first Lighthouse sources that you can f fully learn about each each of the members of the Casa Grandes, and um, so that's really nice. Yeah, and uh, I finally remembered the names of um. Uh, Lago and Sergio. I couldn't remember their names for some reason. And also, and also, it was a bit hard for me to remember all the Casa Grande's names. I don't really know why, but I, I don't really have an excuse for that because I'm able to remember every other damn character, but... <laughs> that's just what happened, I guess. Now, I, so, how do I rate this overall? I definitely give it a, this book overall a 9.5 out of 10 because... It's the best one yet because it features um, twice as many families for twice as much fun as the book says, and uh, the stories in general are, are all really, really, really good. And uh, it features Sam Sharp, who, who fans have been clamoring, clamoring to see for a very long time. Again, we don't know who she's going to be voiced by in the actual show. We have no freaking idea. We've seen that one storyboard image, well, I've seen that one storyboard image with uh, her and Luna s sitting in the, I think, the the dining room. Uh, the, tuning their guitars with an amp in the middle. And, uh, so yeah, she's, ba she's bound to get a, she's bound to get an appearance, another appearance in this season. So we'll just have to wait and see. And, uh. What I thought was going to be um, the fourth graphic novel actually got changed because, yeah, number four, what was supposed that was supposed to be number four and it was entitled "The Struggle Is Real." If you can see it right there coming soon with that new piece of um, cover art, but <clears throat> Paper Cuts actually just tweeted today a new image for <clears throat> a, a new a new cover image for <clears throat> what. One of the new graphic novels, which I thought was going to be number five, it's called a family tree, and it features Lincoln in a treehouse and all his, and all of, and all of his sisters on the on the on the on the bottom of the page, on the bottom of the image. But apparently, that's going to be number four, according to Twitter. I don't know. They might they might have messed that up because <laughs> I. Look, I'm gonna figure this out right now on camera. Yep, cause um, graphic novel number two, <clears throat> you know, fe featured its very next, its very next um uh, novel in the beginning of this. So that means that means um the struggle is real is going to be number four, it, 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 or at least it should be. And family tree. Oh, that, that's weird though because they said fa the family tree was going to come out in July and I thought that was going to be number five so if paper cuts said on Twitter that that's going to come out in July the family the family tree graphic novel then maybe that means that th they must have changed it <laughs> they must have changed what was going to be the what was going to be the fourth graphic novel and the fifth graphic novel we'll just have to wait and see on that. I'm getting it either way, but we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to wait and see. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this review of this. Is actually, my very first uh, review for one of the graphic novels, and uh, I'm definitely going to do a vlog on the second anniversary of the show on Wednesday. So be looking forward to that. So if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned for a May 2017 update tomorrow and um, on the first day of May. And um, 
Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Other than my hair looks like freaking Jimmy Neutron's and they have this hideous cut in my lip. It's still healing. It's still healing, but it's one of the reasons I haven't bothered to film anything because it just looks ugly as hell. Well, I think that's it. Let me know what you thought of this graphic novel and what do you think of the graphic novels in general do you like do you like them just as much as, as the show do you like them more than the show do you like them less than the show which and, and if you do which stories in here are your favorites and uh, what do you look forward to seeing in these graphic novels definitely tell definitely tell me in the comment section below and uh, uh i'm open to any kind of uh, constructive criticism so let me know if there's anything i can do to improve on these videos because, yeah, there's... And also, I wore blue for his favorite because, yeah, the graphic novel is blue. Anyway, uh, I gotta go uh, take a shower. I, um, uh, I've had a long day today. So, I'm Alex Warmer, a.k.a. With you Jumped. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That is it for me, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. <sighs> I'm sorry that this has been distracting you the whole damn video, but to trust me, it's been distracting me, too, for, like, the past week and a half. I'll see you next time. I'll see you tomorrow.